Hey everyone, my name is Miguel from SoCal Watch Reviews. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers, that is pretty exciting. Today I wanted to share with you uh, my Seiko collection. So Seiko is near and dear to my heart, it is the brand that kind of got me started into this crazy journey. And it doesn't matter how up the ladder you move in this industry, right? I've seen guys with Patek Philippe's and they still own Seikos in the collection because Seiko is that good now i know there's a lot of complaints about seiko moving up market or whatnot i think they just kind of corrected themselves and they were undervaluing their watches for such a long time so i'm glad that they kind of got back on track if you will and uh and they're delivering some crazy watches um so when i was in the process of buying the watch i'm going to show you they released a new seiko 5 gmt incredible value hopefully i bring one to the channel because they are amazing looks really cool and I think it's just incredible value but with that said let me kind of show you what I got uh, first and foremost thank you so much to Mirage Luxury for sending in this watch case it holds uh, six watches and as you can see I am utilizing every single space so first off it was the mighty Seiko SKX 007 this started my journey thanks to the Urban Gentry and it's always gonna be in the collection is the one that started it all and uh, I wear it occasionally but it's always gonna stay here uh the spb 143 is an absolute classic one of my favorite watches in my collection out of everything if uh if i'm being honest very versatile and a real contender for a one watch collection uh next up is something that also is super cool the seiko sna 411 this is a must guys if you like chronographs you like brightling but you don't want to get into that kind of uh you know price range this is a great alternative and i highly recommend you pick one up of course seiko sarb 033 on an uncle seiko strap or bracelet makes it look completely different and this is a must have but now prices are out of control but if you could still pick one up at a decent price i recommend you do uh and then my beloved uh, Seiko 5 Actis. This is a vintage piece from the 60s. Omar, Timeless Sneakers and Watches. Shout out to you for selling me this piece. Salmon Dowel, beautiful on a Vario vintage uh, Italian strap. But as you can see, I have this little empty spot in my collection and I've experienced uh, a lot of Seiko. Of course, vintage Seiko, modern Seiko, and I love Seiko. I mean, I, I'm saying it a lot, but it's true. But uh, what was next in my collection was the next level of Seiko grand seiko uh some of you may have watched my tutor gmt video and i got rid of that piece it was just too big for me it just it just, it just wasn't a fit in my collection so i ended up picking this other watch but before i tell you what it is let's look at the packaging that grand seiko delivers their pa their watches in uh beautiful just packaging overall i love the attention to detail with the rice paper how you take it out of the box it's just incredible what uh, kind of value grand seiko is giving you and they include a lot of little goodies here and there and it really makes it feel like a pristine uh, brand and, and real competitor to the swiss so what did i end up picking up i ended up picking up a grand seiko sbgm 221 this is a true gmt watch with the jumping hours it's a beautiful watch some of the specs uh, of this watch let me run by them real quick 39.5 millimeter case it's 13.7 millimeter stick it's 46.9 millimeters from lug to lug 19 millimeter lug width has a push and pull crown it does come with a crocodile uh, leather strap with a with a buckle and a box sapphire crystal and of course the whole thing is constructed of 316 l stainless steel that has that beautiful shiratsu polishing in the back we do have an exhibition case back that has that automatic movement the 9s66 mechanical movement with 35 joules and it's plus to minus three seconds per day and it has a 70 hour power reserve this watch is beautiful that ivory dial at first i was a, a little apprehensive i was on the fence i was like i don't know if it's for me it looks a little too vintage but i promise you this when you see it in different lighting and you have it in the middle it changes it, it's weird it, it goes from this kind of ivory color to like a white color and then seeing those uh nice indices with the suratsu just polishing all throughout it just it just it's it's magnificent and to be honest with you that blued uh gmt hand it's is beautiful and there's just no words to describe a grand seiko this is actually the first time uh that i ever spent some time with a grand seiko and the cool thing is that it's my watch now uh 
I'm not ready to do a full review on this because I need to spend a little bit more time with it and, and kind of give you my true opinions. But overall, guys, I mean, this this watch is just incredible. Uh, 30 meters water resistance, that is one major, major downfall. And another downfall for me, although the original strap is really nice, really well executed. The buckle is amazing, has Suratsu polishing as well, and it's milled. And, and fun fact, um, actually, uh, the buckle can be taken out and put into a different strap. So I may do that in the future. James, thank you for letting me know about that. But uh, yeah, I was like, you know what? I can't wear this watch on this leather strap. I did, but it looks too elegant for me. And also the bulk that the buckle creates is just not something that I like. So I reached out to my friends uh, over at Vario and they sent a nice care package. So let's go through it. Let me show you what they sent and let's go through each one of them. Now Vario, let me tell you a little bit about them. Now Vario consistently delivers premium quality products without the premium price tag. And they're vintage Italian leather, which is kind of what we're going to look at here. Bill straps are actually some of my favorite. They use 100% vegetable tan full grain leather from Italy. And honestly, for the price, you won't find any better leather straps in the market. I promise you that I've reviewed a lot of leather straps and for the price, these are some of the best. So first off, let's look at this vintage vegetable tan Italian leather onyx black. Now they all come with quick release and I think this elevates the watch to a different level. Now it doesn't look super, super classy like it does on the croc, croc um, uh, strap, but it does look elegant. Now uh, I will probably use this if I went out um, somewhere nice, maybe a nice dinner and I just kind of wanted to be low key. This would be the watch strap that I would uh, utilize. Now six and a half uh, or 6.78 inch wrist. That's uh, the size of my wrist just for reference. Uh, next up, let's look at this really cool vintage Epsom Italian leather mahogany brown. Now this one really does resemble the color of the original one that comes with the watch. But I love that pebbling, right? And that stitching, it just it just brings it all together and it looks beautiful. And obviously, like I said, it looks very similar to the original one. So if I wanted to give it that kind of original look, I would definitely opt for this one. Next up is the vintage Epsom Italian leather pewter gray. Now, this one is super cool. I do own this one in a different um, uh, size in a 20 millimeter. And uh, yeah, I just, I just thought, the watch will look super cool with it and i think it does it looks different right it, it just kind of plays well with that kind of elevated aesthetic but it still plays it down a little bit so i think this one's pretty cool it's fun uh, maybe wear it some shorts wear it with some jeans tennis shoes i don't know i, I think it looks pretty cool uh now moving on to two of my favorite ones uh next up is the vintage epson italian leather royal blue man let me tell you in person with this blue strap and this blue GMT hand, it just, they, they pop. They pop, they complement each other so well. This is cool. This is almost like Mr. Wonderful putting red straps on all his watches. I would rock this blue one. And in fact, I am gonna rock it. Uh, I love the way it looks. What do you guys think? I think this one is killer. And uh, last but not least is this Vintage Distress Italian Leather Tan Brown uh, watch strap. Now that is kind of what I'm gonna keep it uh, with or on the watch on just because I think uh, it just downplays the uh, luxury level or dressiness I should say of, of the watch it, it makes it look cool but it looks it makes it look more casual in my opinion and I'm a casual guy to be honest with you I hardly wear any suits or whatnot so this is uh, the one that I actually have on my wrist right now I am wearing it it's beautiful it's comfortable now I feel like I could actually wear this watch and uh, not look like I'm gonna go to uh, to a boardroom right but uh, overall uh, you know the, this watch like I said a full review will come but overall first impressions is, is beautiful I love it uh, I think I made the right decision getting rid of a, of a Tudor GMT and picking up a Grand Seiko GMT. Now, granted, this is not a sports watch like that one was, but I don't care. I mean, to me, this is something that feels comfortable on my wrist. I'm going to wear it. And yeah, it's a little bit maybe older, uh, you know, came out a few years ago, but I don't care. I, I don't go for hype. I go for what I like and as should you. So what do you guys think? Do you think this uh kind of completes my seiko now grand seiko collection do you think i should pick up another seiko or another grand seiko i think i should but <laughs> to be honest with you i hardly wear my watches i wear the same watches over and over does that happen to you i mean i i don't know i i think it's like i only have one wrist and i'm not gonna double wrist 
because that's just not for me right but uh yeah i think uh watch it should be fun i keep saying the same thing over and over again but it's true this um hobby could be very uptight and there's a lot of snobs so let's let's not be snobs let's just have fun with this right it doesn't matter if you have a dollar wristwatch or a hundred thousand dollar wristwatch who cares it's all about just having fun getting along and uh and yeah just enjoying these little things so let me know what you think what strap was your favorite combo obviously i gave you my two cents i want to know your two cents so let me know and if you haven't already please subscribe like i said almost 5,000 subscribers we are almost there so help me get there help me get there and uh big things are happening in the future everybody says that big things but now i promise you obviously the bigger the numbers the more i can collaborate with companies and maybe they'll actually take me serious but anyway name is miguel socal watch reviews thank you so much for watching always remember stay humble and stay safe